Welcome back. Oh, I'm down here. Yeah, down here. Thank you all for joining me in this epic, awesome, super adventurous episode. Today, we'll be looking at different interiors and how you can make the inside of your ship awesome. Gotta get my meat back. God damn meat mech, I gotta do everything my fucking self. Get over here. Ah. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we are, we're in our world. We have some ships spawning in the background, don't mind those. Um, but here are three ways that you can design your very own interior for your ships. Now, keep in mind, I do know that ships come in various sizes and you can have so many different possibilities to your ship so when looking at my designs don't feel discouraged or like oh it's not going to fit in my ship or this won't work for my design just take what i say with a grain of salt and maybe you can incorporate it to your designs what i'm trying to get out of this to show you all is that you can add small amounts of detail and just little little changes to any ordinary block to make it look fancier or cooler. So the three types of interior we're going to design is luxury, engine bay slash interior slash, and thirdly, the, the main interior of the ship. So let's get right into it. So the first one over here, what we have, and they all have the same basic design of, you know, there's gonna be a tiny hallway uh, a kind of medium sized hallway with uh, which will it's kind of like a small hallway, but with more detail uh, You just need a little more space to make it and then the main hallway, which is in the middle, which is a large um, Probably only being used for like large ships with like large hallways and stuff So if we come inside you can see this is the luxury. So we're going luxury uh, engineer components and then kind of like crew quarters main uh, passageways or whatever not too fancy but still clean enough better than the engine room so for the luxury you can see that we have these nice clean walls and very very open concept very minimalist to give it that smooth effect you know you come in and it looks very grand grandiose like it's got all of the aesthetics and colors to look amazing and if you notice that it's three blocks wide and what i've done is i've taken the passageway or no sorry <laughs> the interior wall and i've flipped it upside down so it doesn't have these weird lights kind of pointing up it's just this smooth kind of pathway color and it just gives it that little extra detail like as if this was made of totally some sort of other material another thing to note is i'm using only non-dlc things so if you like these designs you are more than welcome to use these designs in your ships and in your uh stations this one i can only see oh i can only imagine you guys using this kind of hallway for probably a large station maybe a base or maybe one hallway in a frigate or uh, a cruiser or larger so on the left we have the small hallway which is as simple as it gets you simply just take the tunnel block or the passageway block and then you place a couple of those and it looks it looks good enough now what you could do is if you had you know you had some space to work with i would suggest making so say you had a an area that oh you needed a passageway through but this was the amount of space that you had to uh cover on the outside um you really have unlimited possibilities but if you wanted to keep it simple like this, you could have that and you need a light source. Just quickly add um, some corner lights right there. And then you can turn those up and down however you please. And you still have this kind of nice hallway effect. The unfortunate thing with, I feel like luxury, luxury should be all like mainstream, all continuous, all flush. You know, nothing really sticking out, nothing like see how these wall are. If you had the DLC, uh, for the offset walls, 
it would look much cleaner, much more flush, and you could see everything just kind of go along in a straight line. So when we talk about luxury for the one block hallway, I'd say probably don't use this uh, light. I would suggest using the, the hallway itself and obviously color it the same color as this. But if we're talking luxury, there wouldn't really be cramped places. It's just more of you made a luxury branded uh, Corvette or something. And then on the right side, we have this area, which is honestly just a shrunken down version of what we have in the main interior. Uh, this on the top is supposed to be blue. And as you can see, we're using the clean color, which is not a part of any DLC. Everyone should have this as well as the battered armor. Um, but yeah, we come in here and it's just a smaller version. It's got some angles to look nice. It makes it look like it's very roomy. I mean, realistically, you can't really like walk much more to the side. But if you wanted more room, you could put half slabs. Or again, if you had blocks um, on your ship that could go out this far, you could do that as well. So moving forward, we have the engine room this engine area this component super exposed super techy uh i feel like there's a word for it and i'm not thinking of it but this room so all your components are here now what i tried to keep in mind is that for most of my ships most engine room areas aren't uh o2 filled or they're not pressurized or anything so everything's very open concept so i mean you could see the vacuum of space and uh, corners but you could easily close off these areas and make it airtight now if you wanted a larger hallway obviously you could just uh extend this up taller and then you'd have much more room i like to keep it this height even for the big room so that your engineer can essentially walk down and repair each of these components so if they get damaged, you can come up and you can repair them or what have you. I have these nice orange ambient lights and that really brings out the engine room aesthetic. You know, it's uh, it's in the low dark areas. You want kind of like a, a caution light, like a cautious light. So either have yellow, red or orange, something like that. And I really think that brings it out. Now, something that I've seen in many builds previously is this idea of taking interior walls and putting it on its side and it just it literally makes like piping on the ground which just adds so much detail and i love it i really love the way that looks and it goes well with this nice dark interior as well as there's some uh you should be able to access your components i just put some components in as an example and then where there's not components i put tires here yes you can make like blocks that are unfinished but I hate blocks that are unfinished because then when you build them in survival, it just it makes everything weird. In my opinion, some sometimes it looks great. And then over here, we have the one block area, which isn't that uh, crazy. I did have originally the passageway block, but I was using that way too often. So instead, I opted to use um, vents on the side. So then maybe you could see like gyros or generators on the outside here. You couldn't access them, but or maybe you could through this port. You just take out this vent like that. And I had a light here on the ground, but I don't have it anymore. And obviously we have our conveyor system on the top so we can basically fix and repair it. then coming this way you have the slightly larger room and this is honestly the same as the one block room uh because of how cramped it is just obviously you can access the components here and uh if you don't have any components you can just add more blocks now i love using blast door blocks and wheels because if you think of it if it's fully complete it means they're very durable so you have a very durable block inside your ship um, protective wise, it doesn't really protect anything, but if you think about it, you know, you have a cargo container here that's being targeted. At least it has kind of a little more dense armor around it. So aesthetically, these look great, but functional wise, they are still useful. Now moving on to the crew area, which is honestly just kind of the luxury area, just with a little more greeblies, a little more, uh, bips and bobs to it. 
So if we come in, you can see this is probably where we'd have air vents up here. And then we come down to this like midsection and I took the passage, keep calling it that. <laughs> I took the interior wall block and then faced it up. So it has these more like robust, like if you were bringing cargo or, or troops were like running down the hallways, you know, it's a little more rugged. It's got that grip on it. As you can see, looks very nice, I think. So you can run down, you know, this is where all the main, well, this is the main walkway of the ship. This would probably be lining the entirety of the ship. And then we go to the left. It's honestly just the exact same as the luxury hallway with these passageway blocks and the interior walls just kind of facing up the same way we do out here. So it has that same aesthetic. See, if you notice, honestly, if you just keep the same floor design, everywhere it really really makes the ship pop out and then if we come over here to the slightly the shorter but wider room we have this area and you can see that we have these struts that kind of come up here for where the door is like we do up here in this large hallway but for the rest of the hallway it's flat and you could change it however you can make it like ribbed or you can make it all flat you know it's up to you as well sometimes you'll have components exposed in your ship but i rarely rarely ever have components not exposed on my ship but one day i will design a ship that is fully you know you can reach all the components but then everywhere that you don't want to be reached by components you can you know hide from but yeah, that's basically it. That's all I have for uh, the interior to tour of uh, some different designs. We have three interiors that you can get inspiration from. Uh, side note, thank you all for subscribing. I've grown a little bit in subscribers and that's really nice. And I really, 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 really hope to see growth in this channel a lot more. I hope you watched the entirety of this video and I hope you enjoyed most of it. Hope you like my little skits in the beginning. If you don't, then that's fine. Just skip ahead. Uh, to the parts that you're really here for. I've been busy with work. Um, it's a lot. I'm trying to uh, balance YouTube and work. Honestly, as much as I love spa space engineers, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'd love to just make entertaining content for you and uh, make you guys laugh and, you know, just enjoy some of the stuff I make. So, um, yeah. General Corva, don't you worry. It, uh, your, your hover tank's coming out. And then you can edit it, and I want to see your design of it. It's going to be fucking sick. I know it. And I, I will review it. It will be awesome. Like I said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to all my generals for liking the video. Let's just... Let, we got 100 generals. Let's hit 100 likes on this video. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All jokes aside, thank you all so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay relaxed, but most importantly, stay chonk. Chonkers, out.